Welcome back to another UCT race tour. Today we will be visiting Grosha Michelle Hall as well as the UCT Fitness Centre and they are both on lower campus. Now for those of you who don't know me, my name is Emily and basically I make useful, informative UCT race tour videos to help you to have realistic expectations when you move into a race. Subscribe if you want to see more. When I was filming Grosha, you know, I passed the UCT gym slash fitness center and you know I've never been on the inside really because you know I don't like gymming but you know I was thinking hmm maybe you know my subscribers are very serious about gym and I was like hmm let me bless my people with a young tour of the UCT gym so if you are looking for something more serious there is a more serious gym called Zone Fitness which is in Rondebosch and there's also a version active which is in Claremont and you can get there with the Claremont Yami. Moving on to Grasha. So it's an all girls race and no shade to my Baxter Hall because you know that's where my roots are and you know what I love you and appreciate you Baxter Hall but guys Grasha is honestly the prettiest, the cutest, the best looking race on lower campus and it's honestly the best race that you can be placed in you know if you are on lower campus however you have to share a room when you get your gosh in first year and then you can only get your own room when you're in second year and onwards so yeah guys you can never have it all okay as a race you're either too expensive or you are too far away or the area that you're in is dodgy or your food sucks there's always a catch yeah so today's video will be divided into chapters so that you get to see the part that you want to see and please enjoy today's video. Thank you. We have Leo, then Tagwell, the red building is Baxter and on the left hand side we have Grasha. So on your right hand side between Grasha and Baxter there's a piece of lawn and they call it Grasha lawns and apparently it used to pop back in the days before covid like people would just chill there on a friday night saturday night this is the view of grasha from the other side i love it so much it's giving like art gallery vibes so the uct fitness center aka the uct gym is right next to grasha but it's also very accessible to every other res on lower campus there is a fee that's going to be charged to your UCT account if you join the UCT gym but it is free to swim for everyone so if you want to swim you can just come so I went in the afternoon and it was I guess relatively empty it's just a quick scan so that you get an idea of what the UCT gym looks like and they also have a Zumba studio situation going on just from the entrance of Russia, it's already giving like fresh vibes, clean vibes and this is Nicole and she will be taking us through Grasha today. Guys look at this reception, look at the windows and the high ceiling, it's giving like luxury. This board tells us that the res was built in 2007, Grasha has their own dining hall which means that they can stay inside when they want to eat whereas some reses like Glen you have to walk all the way to Tagwell to eat. I love this board it feels very inclusive it tells you where everything is because Grosha is quite big and it's quite easy to get lost that's why there are these maps showing you the floor plans everywhere according to the UCT handbook Grosha is supposed to have 382 people so honestly it's one of the biggest races at UCT Grosha has three courtyards and this is the first one and it's also the biggest one so this is the other side of the dining hall, the DH. I'm just going to quickly show you where they dish up for food and stuff. So the rules at the DH is that you eat what they dish up for you. Like if you want more, then you must eat like the bread with the peanut butter and jam. If you feel hungry after dinner, just eat bread. They aren't really allowed to give you seconds unless, you know, you wait until the end of dinner and maybe some people didn't come, then you can have seconds. This outside area slash balcony area was used to host socials, you know, at the beginning of the year, if they're trying to have a greet and meet event, they would host it here. 
this is a kitchenette area but there are lots of kitchenettes in Grosha and people also study here sometimes guys this is university people study everywhere this is their sitting room slash lounge they have a pool table and it seems like they have all the balls and stuff the sitting room is okay i'm just not feeling like the carpets and the colors yeah but it's okay now we are on our way to the laundry room and on the right hand side we have the warden's room the laundry room standard procedures it's free to do your laundry they also have a lot of washing machines and a lot of tumble dryers but as you should because there are a lot of people living at Grasha, so you should have a lot of you know facilities this is the study area during vac it's used as a storage place so there are three study rooms one on each floor there are three floors in total at Grasha, and i couldn't get a better shot at Grosha, they have clusters. So every six rooms, you are one cluster. There are two clusters in one corridor. So if your door is, for example, purple, then your kitchenette will also be purple. Your bathroom will also be purple. Every cluster has two showers and two toilets. If you are in a cluster, then you will be sharing the kitchenette and the bathrooms with seven other people. There are eight people in a cluster in total since there are two double rooms and four single rooms. So in this corridor, we have the purples and then we also have the blues. And then the blues have their own bathrooms. And then from here on, you say one, two, three, four, five, six rooms. Two of them are doubles, four of them are singles. This is Nicole's room, so she's living in a single room since she is in third year. Another thing that you need to know about Grasha is that if you're a head student or sub warden, you don't get a better room because all the clusters are identical. You also get your own basin, which is quite nice. And I also opened the cupboard to show you guys the kind of cupboard space with the hanging space and the shelves. So if you come to Varsity, buy hangers. This is Mako Sazana and she is in first year. So if you're in first year, you share. What I like about this double room is that there's a physical wall in between you guys. You have your own window. Your side is your side. My side is my side. I feel like this is also quite convenient when you want to change and just more privacy, I think. Here is another kitchenette just to show you guys. And from this window, you can see the beautiful, beautiful Leo Marquardt and Tagwell video coming soon. We are walking along the side that's facing Grasha lawns and this fence is giving prison vibes. What I like about Grasha is that the rooms are very predictable. If you come in as a first year, you're going to get a double room. If you come in as a second year, you're going to get a single room. Lastly, we're ending the tour by visiting Karabo. Karabo and I both went to school in Bochevstrom. And um, yeah, shout out to you if you know where that is. So Karabo has a tall bar fridge and you're allowed to have this in every single first tier res. And sometimes people choose to wait because other people would like to sell their fridges at the beginning of the year. Also something that used to confuse me about UCT is that you're on ground floor, you walk upstairs for a really long time and you come outside and you're on ground floor again. So yeah, mountain struggles or whatever. If you have watched all the way until the end of this video, thank you so much. I hope this was helpful. I hope this was informative and spread the word, subscribe, comment, like, whatever. I love you.